Dixie Clacks, the soon to be longest bridge in the country, is getting closer to completion. Based on the January report, the engineering, procurement, and construction contract is at 62.21%. For the main bridge deck, 22 out of the 56 stay cables have already been installed. These stay cables will hold the deck. At the Cebu South Postal Road on ramp, construction of the deck slabs or the carriageway for the vehicles is ongoing, while at the CSCR off ramp, construction of the headstock as well as the installation of girders using the launching country is underway. Pedestrian access is also provided, so the entire stretch of the CC class is walkable. On March 5, first cross on Tower 2 were lighted up. Both towers, 1 and 2, will have four crosses each that will be visible from all sides. Works on the lightning of the crosses are ongoing and will be completed soon. Each cross will be 40 meters tall and illuminated by hundreds of LED strip lights. The lighted ecumenical crosses are among the iconic features of the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway. These symbolize the significant role of Cebu as cradle of Christianity. Commemorating its 500th year anniversary. This coming March 20, Spanish training ship Juan Sebastián Elcano will arrive in Cebu to reenact the first circumnavigation of the globe, one of the most significant achievements in the history of mankind.